Hello, and welcome to a short video presentation on when to apply place and route options. Let's discuss the Libero design tool flow. The first step is to create the design either by using Smart Design or HDL. After creating the design, the second step is synthesis. Once the design passes synthesis successfully, the third step is place and route. After place and route, the next step is to generate FPGA array data and then generate Bitstream. Finally, program the device using programmers. As we can see, place and route is a subsequent step of synthesis. Input files to place and route tool is synthesis, netlist, and user constraints like timing, I.O., floor planning, etc. Place and route is a process which places each macro from synthesis netlist into available location on the target silicon and connects the macros using routing resource available on the target silicon. Now we will move on to the different configuration options available on the Libero Place and Route tool. There are three different configurations available, timing driven, incremental layout, and use multiple passes. The main purpose of the timing driven configuration option is to meet timing constraints specified by the user or generated automatically through the derived constraints. This configuration option is selected by Libero tool by default. If this option is not enabled, the timing constraints, which are specified by user or created by tool, are not considered by Libero software. Under the timing driven option, there are four configuration options available. The first option is power driven. This is used to reduce the dynamic power by maintaining the timing requirements. During power driven place and route, the tool tries to reduce routing network by tighter placement of logic. This is accomplished by global buffers and row global buffers placed on one side of chip to reduce power in clock distribution network. The second option is IO register combining. This helps to combine any register directly connected to IO when it has a timing constraint. IO register combining is not applicable on each IO. There are a set of rules. Please refer to Libero help for more information. The third option is high effort layout. This option is used to improve the likelihood of achieving layout success. High effort layout should be considered as the last flow point if the design is not able to meet the timing with all settings. If a user enables this option, layout runtime will increase and design may not meet the timing constraints. The fourth option is repair min delay violations. This is used to repair the minimum delay or hold violations that occurred in the design. This is done by increasing the length of routing paths and inserting routing buffers to add delay to the violation paths. The tool will try to reduce or completely repair the violations. The next configuration option under a place and route tool is incremental layout. Incremental layout uses the previous placement data as the initial placement for the next run. By executing layout in incremental mode, the location of previously placed cells and routing of previously routed nets is preserved. Our next option is multiple passes. This option is used to run multiple passes of place and route to get the best layout result. This figure shows the common place and route configuration options available for Smart Fusion 2 and Polar Fire devices. This figure shows the different configuration options available under the multiple pass option. The user can set the number of passes from 1 to 25, which specifies how many times the user wants to run the PNR flow. By starting at seed index, the index specifies into the array of random seeds, which is the starting point for the passes. The slowest clocks option allows the tool to use the slowest clock frequency in the design for a given pass or the user can give the specific clock frequency used in the design for a given pass. Under timing violations, based on user selection, the tool examines the timing violations obtained from max delay violations or min delay violations. The user can select worst slack or total negative slack from the drop-down menu. When worst slack is selected, the largest amount of negative slack for each iteration is identified, and the largest value of all the iterations determines the best pass. If total negative slack is selected, the sum of negative slacks from the first 100 paths in the timing violations report for each pass is identified, and the largest value of all the passes determines the best pass. For example, if the number of iterations is 3 and total negative slack is enabled, in the first iteration sum of negative slacks from first 100 paths is negative 250. In the second iteration value is negative 50. And in the third iteration value is negative 100.
The tool determines the second iteration is the best one, since the second iteration is the largest value among three. Stop on first pass without violations is used to stop performing remaining passes if all timing constraints have been met. For example, if the number of iterations is selected as 5, but all timing constraints are met at the third iteration, then the tool stops at the third iteration and does not run the next iterations, thus reducing runtime. If total power option is enabled, the tool selects the iteration which has the lowest total power among all the iterations as the best one. Now we will discuss the microchip Libero SOC tool to show the different configuration options available under the Place and Route tool. We created a simple design in the latest version of Libero. As you can see, two flip-flops are connected in cascaded fashion. The same clock is given to the two flip-flops, and the output of the first flip-flop is connected to the input of the next flip-flop. D is the input pin, Q is the output pin, and CLK is the clock pin. From this configuration window, the user can select the different configurations available under Place and Route in Libero. After selecting the configurations, run the place and route. For additional information, refer to the Libero SOC Design Flow User Guide, available on the Libero SOC Design Suite Documents page.